Hey guys, this is Jeremy Nett here out at Permanent Acres, and I am prepping and get to get ready to make some sodium silicate. So I got my distilled water in there. I already measured my 500 milligrams. I got my lye, and I got silica right in there. And I'm just going to let the water warm up some, let the pan heat up, and everything. It's pretty cold outside right now. It's about 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And... I'm gonna go check on the chickens quick. I'm gonna pause this for a moment while I go grab the egg basket out of the house. All right, I'm ready to go out here. Got some eggshells for them. Just gonna dump these out and check on them. Ooh, they knocked on a board. Oh well. Just step over poultry netting, set that on top. Eh, I better not. Just sit down the side where I'm gonna be at and just flip my latch and lift her up. Oh, I got somebody sitting. Oh my, one second, I'm just gonna get my gloves out of the way. There we go. Got the barred rock in there. Come on, girl. I know you're in. She's in a pretty broody mood. Every time I come out here, she's sitting on eggs. But we don't have a rooster. At least that we know of yet. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Let me see if there's. Oh, I grabbed them. That was all. And you guys haven't laid too many this today. Got two. The other day I had like six of them. So it's kind of hit and miss. I got one of the young ones that's just started laying. And oh man, that hurts. Trying to grab this board, lift it over her head, and slide it back in place. There. She's like, you took my eggs. You took my eggs. I was laying on those things. I was like, they're not fertile. We haven't had any roosters spring up as of yet. Uh, at least that we know of. Alright, so just slide that back down. Oh no, it's got poop in the way again. So, grab a stick, move it all the way. It's the amazing part. Anytime you do anything with chickens, your main instruction is normally poop. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Yesterday I only had one frozen one. I would have had seven eggs had it not been one being frozen. So I haven't been really using the auto feeder that much. I just got the non-GMO feed here and just to encourage them to keep scratching and spreading out through the mulch and everything. I've been just shaking it out all around in the mulch especially with the the young ones that way they start learning to scratch real good and try to get enough for, based on how many chickens I got out here I think the if I remember the ratio was about two two full containers of this besides what they already have have and food scraps and everything so I give them two full scoops mix it in there that way they get scratching get any any worms bugs anything that's still in the mix as you see they've been they've been digging out pretty good around the edge okay
They're all happy. Pecking away already. Alright, I'm back. Faith was ho hollering. Joy was crying because she couldn't feed her cats because she was scared of the neighbor's dog was here. And I already fed her cats. <laughs> so, I'm just got the water heating up. I'm going to shut this off pretty soon. I already got a couple videos on how to make sodium silicate so i'm gonna get this done i need to make up a couple batches this will be the first one i need to get some more go out and get some more lye i got plenty of silicate and distilled water so just need to pick up at least probably three more containers of lye to mix up the sodium silicate i'm gonna need for the rocket stove so I'm going to sign off from here. I got to do a bunch of mixing and I'll catch you guys later. Later, later.